All right, hi everybody. My name is Anthony Karabash and I am with the Ontario English Catholic Teachers Association's Professional Development Department. In today's five minute video, we're going to talk about two very uh, powerful tools and tools that are readily available for most people PowerPoint and YouTube. So, we're going to look at how to embed or place a YouTube video inside a PowerPoint. And there are four or five different ways. We're going to look at four. The first way to do it is to simply take a YouTube link and paste it into the PowerPoint. But actually, I mean, you could do that anywhere on any type of document. It comes in live and then you could add all sorts of uh, different things. You can change the background on the slide and make it fancy. Um, but just so you know, as soon as you paste it, it's live. The second way you can do it, which is level up, is to add a symbol in which you direct your students to click on the symbol and have them go into the actual video. And what you do is you right click on the picture and you look for uh, the option of link. You click on link and you take the very same link that you just used and you paste it in the address bar and now this is a button and that's great so that's another way to do it a third way to do it is to take a picture of the video and then link it now you may or may not know all computers have a native uh, snipping tool or a, or a screen capture in a Windows PC which is what I'm demonstrating now you would type in the word snip into your search bar and what you're going to see are two options you have snipping tool which is a little bit older and you have something brand new called snip and sketch I'm I'm a partial to the old one it's quite simple so what I'll do is I will play the video and then take a picture of it as it's playing so let me demonstrate here's the video and it's playing, I've had it play a little bit. There's a spot maybe I wanna take a picture of. I activate my snipping tool, I click on new, and then I take a picture of that video. I copy that picture, and then I paste it into my presentation. Now I'm just gonna follow the exact same idea. Once it's pasted, I can right click on the picture, go to link, and once again, I will copy that link and paste it into the address bar there. Now I have three different ways and these are all pretty good. These are great. These are great, great ways to start. Now I'll show you how to, how to do it with a little bit of uh, style, a little bit of flair and really use the, um, the tools that Microsoft has offered us to their potential. I'm going to create a slide. And what I want to do is embed the video directly into the slide. So I click on insert. I move over to the right until I see the option to insert video. So I click on that and I go to online video as my option. And guess what? I'm going to paste that YouTube video directly. And away we go. So now I have a video and I have kind of like paid advertisements around the video, which are really just thinking questions for my students. And this is what constitutes, in my opinion, a very effective minds-on activity that doesn't really need students to do anything else. I'm not even asking them to reply to this just yet. Tomorrow, I will create a discussion post somewhere and ask them to submit some responses to me using this video and these questions. Now, the final piece is how do we put this in the hands of our students? Well, there are several ways you can do this. You can upload it to Google, you can upload it to D2L by exporting it as a PowerPoint show. So this is really important. You, f you click on File, you click on Save As, and just under the title, so let's say Volcanoes, under the title, you're looking for the option, which is about a third of the way down, called PowerPoint Show. And what that does is it kind of locks it down. If you export it as a PDF, the video will not work as it does here. The links on the first page will work in a PDF, but you won't get this nice embedded idea. Good luck, have fun, and don't forget, one tool at a time.